Ooh, holy cow. As you guys can tell, I am currently in the middle of our tornado. Not really, but oh my God, is it freaking windy out here? I was not expecting this. And of course, in today's video, let me show you guys the rig. Of course, I got the kayak today. This is actually going to be the first time I've really taken out my kayak and filmed a video in it, which is kind of weird because normally I've taken this thing out like a hundred times already. As soon as there's open water, I'm hitting it with the dams and you know, any open water that I can possibly find, I'm hitting it with my kayak. But for some reason this year, I just hasn't, haven't really taken it out. But in today's video, as you guys read by the title, I'm gonna be doing some crappie fishing and I'm gonna be doing a catch and cook for you guys. The only difficult thing that I'm gonna have to do today is deal with the wind. I mean, it is really, really windy out here. It's probably like 20, 25 mile per hour north wind. And this lake runs perfectly north and south. So yeah, and I'm on the south side right now. So that's gonna be absolutely brutal. We're gonna go with it, we're gonna work with it. I'm gonna be throwing some plastics, no live bait today. And we're just gonna see if we can catch some keeper sized crappies. So. Stay tuned guys, I'm gonna get down on the water and we're gonna wet some lines. Now if you guys have not seen my kayak and have not seen any of my videos, this is actually a new canoe Frontier 12 dragging it down to the water right now. This thing is absolutely sick. Once I get it down here, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about it. Not exactly sure why I wore the white fans, you know, but we're gonna be getting out on the water. This thing is extremely easy to launch. As you can tell, that was a pretty easy thing for me to do. This thing is super stable. I can stand up like right in the middle, pretty much anywhere, honestly, and not even feel like I'm gonna fall. We're gonna be going on this side of the lake, there's some down trees. We're gonna be hitting that spot first. Oh God, this is definitely not ideal for rowing out in the kayak, especially not this beast of a kayak that I have. This thing's like 40 some inches wide, 12 feet long, probably about 70 some pounds. So running this thing through water is definitely a hassle. Not gonna lie, a little bit of chop, not great. What do we have here? Gotta be a bass. Nope. Well, it was a northern pike and it just broke my line. So that's fantastic. There we go. Look at that. Not a very big one, but it is the start. It is the right species that I'm going for. I'm just fishing in a dock. There's some down trees. I'm gonna get a release on this one. I'm looking for a little bigger. Oh, there we go. Got another. Oh yeah, yep, it's crappie. Get them in. Okay, so I'm definitely starting to figure something out here. Definitely not a giant, but that one is almost keeper size. I did say I was doing a catch and cook. Look at how this thing swallowed it too. I'm gonna get a release on this one. I do feel like I can get some bigger still. So, get a release. Fix my plastic here. We're just gonna cast right back in there and see if we can get some more. There's another. No way this is a crappie, huh? Oh God, look at this. Holy cow. Look at the size of this freaking bluegill. I was gonna say that did not feel like a crappie and it's definitely not, but that is a solid like nine, maybe 10, but it's probably a solid nine inch bluegill. Holy cow. 
don't know if I'm going to keep this one either just because it is very important to get these bigger bull bluegills back because they are the ones that protect the beds. But I guess, uh, no, no, I guess I am getting a release on that one. Okay, good. That's what my intention was going to be anyways, but I'm going to cast it back in there. And we're going to see if we can start getting some crappies, even though if we were catching bluegills like that, definitely would be all right with that also. Well, so far the fishing has not been that good. I've caught two crappies, a nice bluegill, and a northern. So I have caught fish, but this wind is just unbearable. I haven't caught the size that I really want yet. So what I think I'm gonna do here is actually head off of this lake. I'm gonna go about five, 10 miles, a little bit north, and I'm gonna hit a smaller lake. So one, the wind isn't that bad, and two, hopefully the crappies are a little bit bigger. So. I'm going to pretty much finish out this drift, maybe take a few more casts and maybe catch a crappie, but otherwise I'm going to load up, head to the other lake, and I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, so we're going up the creek, not looking too bad. We had to go over two beaver dams, thanks for the push, Nick. There we go. And as you can tell, this is bad. This beaver dam is worse than the other two, but we can get past this. That one, boys, we might be in trouble. Okay, so it's really shallow, but we're gonna just man through this somehow. I think, oh yeah, we're really going places. Here, sometimes you just gotta get up and like do some butt scoots. Butt scoots are good. It's not not working the greatest though. Oh, there we go, come on. Wow, this is really, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, dude, they have this whole thing dammed up. This is, this is incredible. Okay, we made her through. Hopefully there's nothing left on this creek that we gotta somehow make our way through, but something's gotta be done about that because that's real bad. First fish, what do we got? A walleye. Look at that. Oh, there's a fish. There we go, right off those rocks. Looks like a smallmouth, yes it is. There we go. Wow, we got a fighter. All right, there we are. Nice little fish, very red eyes, super dark brown color. As you can tell, we're right here in shore now. We're gonna go ahead and let this little guy go. Beautiful colors to him. That is awesome. Woo, see you later, buddy. There we go. First crop you of the night, not a bad one. Probably about 10 inches, maybe. Give or take, maybe just a little. Look at that tail. Tail is completely split. He's been fanning. Looks like this crappie must have been on a bed. I actually found a small little crib, which there could be beds somewhere around the crib. Thank God I've got polarized lenses on and my sunglasses because I never would have been able to see that and I never would have been able to catch that fish. There we go. Feels pretty good, whatever it is. Feels like it really wants to stick to bottom. It's a nice fish. Holy cow. I don't have a net, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty of a wallet. All right. Got it unhooked. Absolute beauty. Definitely the best fish of the day. Again, very dark color to this fish. Just came up, slapped the old plastic. I'm using a VMC Moon Eye Jig that's orange in color, but again, just really nice, healthy Wisconsin walleye. You can keep one over 14 inches on this lake, so this one is gonna be going home with us. This one's gonna be tasting good in the grease, boys. There's a ton of walleyes this size in this lake, just absolutely abundant with walleye. So to come out here and catch one that's actually nice size is a good feeling. A little bit bigger than that first one that Nick caught. Just a beautiful fish. Alrighty, well, we're back at the house and now it is time to prepare our fish. We've got them all out here. Nick and I are currently out in the garage. This is gonna be our little cutting board area. So, got that nice crappie, got a couple walleyes and stuff like that. Now this one is a decent one. This one's gonna have quite a bit of meat on the bone. So, 
pretty excited. We're gonna go ahead, get these all filleted up. I don't know what we're gonna make yet, but first off, we're just gonna get the fillets out, everything cleaned up, and then we're gonna see what we wanna make for lunch today. Okay, well, Nick and I have decided that we are going to be making fish tacos. So, what we're doing right now is just taking some tin foil. I've got a little trough basically made. Check this out. The boys are getting fancy today, guys. We've got spinach, we've got carrots, onion, pepper, and a little lemon to go with it. And then we're gonna be making little mini fish tacos. So, we're gonna go ahead and get our fillets put on to the tin foil. All right, there we go. We got the fillets buttered. Now we're gonna take some New Orleans Cajun seasoning from Weber. This stuff's the move, guys. Not a lot, don't wanna overdo it, you know? Just kidding. Nick and I actually love like a lot of seasoning. We are big fans, but we're not gonna go too crazy this time. Nick's giving each piece the old flipperoo. Oh yeah, this Listen. is gonna be good. We are all about experimenting here on the channel, but those, those are looking good. It won't be long. What do you think? Should we toss these in actually? I'll toss this stuff in? Yeah, maybe not the spinach. We're gonna take no. the spinach. We want a little bit of crunch still. Oh yeah. Drizzle the lemon I feel first, like we're we after. Definitely don't have enough peppers and stuff. Yeah, we, we could get more. We could do the lemon maybe after also, I think. But the other stuff we could definitely put on. All right, start with the carrots. Sprinkle them on. Oh, we're getting fancy. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter where we put them, huh? Because no. we're just <laughs> we're gonna throw them on. Oh boy. We're just gonna give the carrots a little crunch. I mean, carrots are already crunchy, but why not grill them up? Take some onion on there. Just sprinkle some onion all over the place. Oh yeah. Oh boy. A couple peppers. We might need to get some more peppers. <laughs> yeah, there's like four in there. <laughs> okay, we cut up some more peppers. Nick is putting them in right now. Got some oh. red ones in there this time. Add a red little pepper bit more. And color. orange pepper. Ooh, getting yeah. fancy. Gotta love some lemon. Oh, we got actually plenty of lemon. I can do one for each row. Wow. You're really getting into this. Oh, absolutely. Honey, what do you think? How is today's meal gonna taste? Absolutely delicious, right. She loves pretty much anything that I make. It doesn't actually matter. <laughs> Dad's a good chef, that's why. Grill master. All right, things are looking good. Let's test it out. Oh yeah, white meat starts to fall apart. That's when you know it's done. We're gonna go ahead, take a couple pieces of fish load them up on here get one more good one on there oh yeah look at that just fall apart that is what we're talking about then we're gonna grab a scoop full of onions and peppers and carrots and kind of just put that on top of there like so Ooh, maybe just maybe just a couple more real quick spice it up a little bit there we are okay now let's set that down just a tiny little bit of salsa on there. This is like restaurant style salsa. Very thin. Oh boy. Finished product. Finished product. Some very healthy, minus the butter, but we just use that for cooking on the grill rather than using Pam. Just makes it, yeah, you know, you know. All right. Well, we've got KB Bassmaster with us. Caitlin. Yeah. Go ahead, wrap that up for yourself. Tell me what you think of the first Honey. taco. Honey, you're excited because you want some too, right? What does mom think, huh? Is that a pretty good taco? Oh boy. First thoughts? Well, that's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Actually. Yeah, this is my first fish taco ever, actually. You've never had fish tacos? Mm. You've been sleeping under a rock, woman? <laughs> so I mean it's like a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Automatically. Wow. wow, automatic 10 out of 10. So that's pretty good. That's a good review. We're gonna go ahead, grab a couple more plates, and then Nick and I are gonna load up ourselves. Get crazy with it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's looking like an art form out here. <laughs> like five star restaurant stuff right out here in the backyard on the grill. All right, give it a whirl. All right. 
I don't know if Caitlin was just lying I mean, to us. Good. I already finished mine, so. Well, yeah, I don't know if it's just nice or if it actually is that good, so. First thoughts? Oh, it's not bad. Pretty good. Honestly, you can't even tell it really tastes like fish. Really? Could you taste fish, really? Uh, no, I really tasted like the onions and like pepper and stuff. It just That's... tastes like a fajita, but like healthier. Like a chicken fajita, but healthier? A chicken fajita, pretty much, is what it tastes like, yeah. So the fish fajita taco things are, they're a hit. Oh, yeah. They are pretty healthy. Like you said, the only thing that's bad about them is the butter that's inside and I guess the shell. Like, but otherwise you're getting well, nutrition to me, from yeah, I would say chicken and the fajitas. Fish. 100% is what this tastes like. Here we go. First first thoughts. Mm. Mhm. Mm All right. Chicken fajita, right? Yeah, pretty much. Very close, but healthier, yeah. It's delicious. Very good stuff, guys. If you're ever interested in some recipes, make sure to check out all of our catch and cook videos. We just kind of make things up on the fly. We come home, look what's inside the cupboards, what's in the fridge, what's gonna work for us today. And today was fish tacos. We really had no idea. We didn't have to go to the store for any of this. We just went fishing, came home, used what we had, and we've got an awesome meal here. So again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out more of our future videos that we're gonna be posting a lot more catch and cooks and camping videos all throughout the summer. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell again, just to make sure that you get to see all of our future videos. We're gonna go ahead, finish this wonderful meal that we've got here. Enjoy this beautiful day. And until next time, guys, tight lines from Mendietta.